Hey, what's up guys? You boys, Twilight 2K7, and we are back for a brand new Emerge NYC episode. Last night, Emerge NYC was updated on the, uh, the staging branch, and they have released the first version of Montgomery County. So, I'm excited to check this out. This is going to change things up. We have been playing Emerge NYC as a firefighter based out of Manhattan this whole time. So, now we're going to be a firefighter out and like the county area, I think it's kind of based off of a county in Westchester, but I'm not exactly too sure where exactly is that. But anyway, guys, let's go ahead and jump into this update and check it out. So here it is, Montgomery County, a fresh breath of air from the big city rural map with a volunteer fire department. So let's shout out all of our volunteer firefighters out there. I know a lot of you guys do watch my channel, so shout outs to you guys, shout outs to all of you guys, but special shout outs to the volunteers today um, so let's go ahead and get that loaded in and jump into game now if you guys do not know how to get to the staging branch for that so that the game updates all you have to do is go to your steam um, left no right click on emerge nyc then click on properties then click on betas and then uh, click stage and branch like there'll be like a drop down so click stage and branch you do not have to put a code in so just click stage and branch I think after that just hit OK or whatever it says and then it will start updating automatically I think it was like about three gigabytes so depending on your internet connection it'll take like anywhere from like five to ten or fifteen minutes to download and then you'll be ready to go so we're gonna wait for this to download and then we'll jump into the game all right, guys, so we are in Emerge NYC Montgomery County update now. I have our frame rates up on the scene so you guys can kind of see what we're getting. Um, hopefully everything runs smoothly here. But, um, yeah, so this is Montgomery County, and I guess we could kind of take a quick look at the map. I'm not sure how big it is. There's an airport? Holy crap, guys, we have an airport. Wow, take a look at that. And I also think there's a highway too. They have the I-95. I'm not sure um, if this is it here or what. But um, we're going to definitely explore the map a little bit more, guys. I'm going to go ahead and get today's episode started. So what I want to do is check out all of the new fire apparatus. So we have an engine, we have a quint, we have a tanker, a chief, a brush truck, fire ambulance, a, a PLV, P oh, we have multiple POVs, so that's your personally owned vehicle, which a lot of volunteers have. So let's take a look at all of these vehicles. That's going to be the first thing we do. So we're going to spawn in the engine. Okay, so the engine is in. Let's load up the quint. So one thing that I know Flip Switch Games was talking about in their live stream last night when they were showing off everything you should be able to spawn in the vehicles much faster without a long lag and as you can see everything is spawning in really fast now I'm not sure if it's a good idea for us to spawn everything at one time it's probably gonna like affect our frames and stuff but let's give it a try by the way I am on my new computer too so I kinda wanna see how this computer handles Emerge NYC um, so far it handled the Manhattan map really well so I wanna see how it handles um, how it handles the Montgomery County map. So we spawned in one, two, three, four, five, six units. So let's start with the engine. Let's go ahead and join. And after this, we'll take a look at all of the um, personally owned vehicles. I think it was like five or six of those two. So let's uh, see where are we. So here's our firefighter here. Oh, pff, I'm pressing my wrong keyboard. I'm like, why am I not moving around? All right, so here's our firefighter. All right, so here we go. Montgomery County Volunteer Fire Rescue Association of New York. That looks nice. Got that nice Q siren right there on the front. So we are getting a little bit of frame drapes, frame drapes, frame drops as we walk around. Oh, we got our first call already. Alarm activation. All right, we might as well take it. Um, do I have to press force? 
Oh no, Force just brings up another call. Okay, um, so let's hold off on this for a second. I want to just look at all of the fire trucks and then we'll t take a look at all of the new calls. So let's hop in. Alright, so here's the engine. Let's go ahead and turn it on. I think I have traffic off right now, so I should be okay right here. Alright, so this is how the new engine looks. Okay, so this only has a Q siren. Oh no, it does also have the regular servers as well. Okay, so here's our engine. Guess let's take a look at our full uniform here too. So everything is different from when we're fighting the fires out in the city. We got a different uniform. Nice, nice. Take that off. I'm not sure if there's, a, yeah, there's only one uniform option, okay. Alright, everything else should be about the same, so we can open up our roll downs, get all of our equipment out, we have nozzles there, uh, axe, halogen there, hoses, looks about the same, two and a half and a three and a half actually, I think that's actually different from what we had in the city. Um, more equipment down here. So for the rest of the video, what we're going to do is just take a look at all of the new apparatus and then we'll do another video, probably taking a look at all the police, the sheriff vehicles. Um, and then we'll probably do another video actually like playing and everything like that. So it's kind of like a big update. So I kind of wanted to break it down into multiple parts. So that is the engine now. So let's go ahead and jump into the ladder. Oops. Okay, so this is a bigger station here. So I guess we'll uh let's see. I guess we'll get rid of the engine to save a little frames. So this is this bigger station or the bigger firehouse. So here we have a tanker, we have the quint. We have, oh, look at this brush truck. And then we have the ambulance. Well, let's take a look at this station. Oh, there goes the I-95. All my New Yorkers know about that highway. It's not really a bad highway, but like, in, like the cross Bronx part of it in the New York City is just horrible. So much traffic. Oh, here's a chief vehicle. All right, so let's check out the ladder. Well, the Quint. Are they calling it the same thing? Um, oh, okay, yeah, they are. Okay, so the ladder is also the Quint. Got it. I think in the um, the reason why I said that was in this menu. Yeah, in this menu it says Quint, but then once it spawns, it says ladder. So I know it's like the same thing, but. Just wanted to make sure. Um, by the way, guys, I don't know if I mentioned it, but I'm also playing on Ultra right now, too. So I'm sure if I, like, drop down to high, I'll probably get even, like, better frame rates and stuff. So here is the ladder truck. All right, this one needs some decals. Lights look good. I like, I'm liking the rotary. Got the pre-piped pre area. 
Got the cue siren on front as well. All of our pump controls over here. All the hoses actually over here too. That's pretty cool. Wow, nice, nice. Very cool. All of our ladders can be found here. There goes our hearse tool, aka Jaws of Life. I have a saw, extra tanks, extra equipment, fans. This is really nice, guys. I'm liking this so far because it really, it really changes up the game from what we, what we're used to. So we have a lot of equipment. All right, so that's that. Um, all right, so this has four-way. Oh, there's wildfires and stuff. Oh wow, that is crazy. All right, we're gonna we're gonna take a look at all the calls in the next video, guys, because there's a lot of new calls I want to check out. All right, so that's how our ladder is set up. That looks pretty cool. And of course, we could get up top. Perfect, so all of that stuff works. So let's take a look at this. Ooh, Powerville. That looks nice. Peterbilt tanker here. Now this is going to be cool doing some tanker operation because that's something we never did before in game. Uh oh, what did I just do? <laughs> yes, we are, we, are, we are experiencing some lag spikes here and there. Oh yeah, the Okay. Alright, so let's go into the tanker. This has two sirens. Yeah. All right, so that's that. Tanker looks pretty nice. Now I wonder if we could like set up a drop tank and all of that stuff. I guess we're gonna have to try it and learn and everything. Cause I have no idea. Yeah, I'm not too sure. All right, so that's the tanker. Let's see, what's next? Alright, so we have the Chief SUV. Let's take a look at that. Okay, so the Chief vehicle is like a 2013-ish Chevy Tahoe. Let's check out the lights on this. Alright, so this looks like it has multiple stages. So trunk does open, no supplies yet though. Alright, uh, what's next? We have the brush truck. I 
right, this also has three stages of lighting as well. So this is our brush setup. Oh, we have a saw just chilling on the back of this thing. We could probably run calls just with this too. I saw a, vi a video of a volunteer fire department that knocked down a house fire with a brush strip. <laughs> Gotta get it done. The engine was on a call, so they use a brush strip. Happened. Sounds like somebody's responding. Somebody's sorry just turned on. <laughs> I wonder if the other units respond or something. That was interesting. All right, last, well not last, but next we're gonna take a look at the ambulance. So I'm gonna actually do, I'm just gonna clear up all these other vehicles. And let's take a look at the medic. It looks like an international. So the ambulance also has the three stages. Yeah, imagine if this had a queue on it. All right, so that's the ambulance. All right, so next thing we're gonna look at is gonna be the POVs, player on, or I keep saying player, but the personally owned vehicles. Oh, look at this stretcher here, guys. Take a look at that. Keep accidentally tabbing up. Alright, so that's that. Should probably put it back. Okay, perfect. So now let's check out all of the POVs. So it looks like we have a lot of options. So we have a Dodge Ram. Uh, Crown Vic. Taurus. A Tahoe. And a Jeep. Alright, so let's take a look at all of these. Now, obviously, since this is your personally owned vehicle, it starts you off at your personally owned house. So this is the place where the Jeep, or the place, the house where the person who owns the Jeep lives. So like say the call comes in, you hop in your Jeep and you respond to the station, get the fire truck and then respond to the call. Or you can also respond directly to the call if somebody already has a fire truck and meet them there. Oh, we need some rear lighting though. We have no rear lights.
<laughs> my hat in my head kind of glitches through. That kind of reminds me of GTA when it does that sometimes too, with modded vehicles. All right, so that's that. Let's check out the Tahoe. What? Wait, how did we get to Atlanta? That is crazy. We're by the Atlanta airport now. Alright, this person's just chilling out here on the side of the road in his Tahoe. He's gonna have a really big response time if he's all the way in Atlanta by the airport. <laughs> just joking. Alright, so pretty much the same exact light setup. Everything is pretty much the same. Oops. Taurus. <laughs> Taurus is in the middle of a field just chilling. I was going to say it's probably stuck because they're. Wheels are up in the air. Alright, so that's the Taurus. Then we have the Crown Vic. And then last would be the Dodge Rim, which I think I saw on Flip Switch um, live stream last night. It actually looks like the. Um, I forgot what version of this is, but it looks good. Alright guys, so that is going to be all of the fire vehicles. I don't think there's any EMS vehicles. Like, I think the EMS are under... Oh, there's a Corner Ran and a Rocky Brook Medicine? What the heck is this? Okay, I stand corrected. I thought that since the fire station had its own ambulance, I didn't think there was an EMS as well. So, let's see. Lights. Alright, this one seems to be stuck. That is nice. Alright, so we have that. And then there's also that coroner. Let's take a look at that. Haha, <laughs> medical examiner. Yeah. Looks just like the one in the city. Alright, so that is all of our vehicles, guys. Doesn't seem like this one has any lights or anything, so I think you just gotta respond regular, like just drive regular. But yeah, guys, so that is all of the vehicles in the new update. Uh, let me know which vehicle is your favorite and which vehicle should we do our first fire episode with. I'm thinking about trying to use the Quint because I never really use the Quint. Um, so I think that would be cool to kind of do some firefighting with the Quint. But I'm going to definitely use all the vehicles. So maybe we'll do the engine. Um, then we'll do the Quint. Uh, probably try to do something with the brush truck too because it's like a wildfire call. So we'll check that out and then... Uh, we're, we're gonna try everything guys, but let me know which order you guys want me to try stuff in So let's look at the map a little bit here actually so this is like the city area now one thing with this map They were talking about It's not as straight as like Manhattan obviously this is a town So look see the roads are a lot more curved a lot more windy a lot more up and down So it's gonna be a lot uh, harder and more challenging to get around That's gonna make it fun though so we have the airport. I think this tunnel is probably the end of the map. Yeah, that's the end of the map there. Then we have like this rural area. It looks like we have a farm shed or a barn. We have a house. Uh, what's the 
that's just a motel. I think I saw this on the screenshot. Yeah, a motel. That's where the sheriff vehicle was by. <laughs> they have color TVs. Wow. Thank God. <laughs> Imagine going to a hotel or motel and they still have black and white TVs. Right, parking lots. Uh, what store is this? Leaf Market. Then we have this residential area. Detached garages. I think this is as far as I could fly around, it seems. Got the I-95 South, so head back to the city. Head to New Jersey, head back to Manhattan, jump on the Triborough Bridge, which hits three boroughs. That's why it's called the Triborough. You can hit man what is it, Manhattan, Bronx, and Queens on that one bridge. So yeah guys, so that is a new update for Emerge NYC. Sorry it was a little bit glitchy, but like I said, I, I had everything running on Ultra. Um, I could probably turn it down to like very high or high, it'll probably run much better. Also guys, if you guys would like to see the laptop I'm using, because I did buy a new computer like last week. Um, and actually runs Emerge NYC better than my main computer does. So I'll link my main computer and I'll also link my laptop so you can kind of compare their specs. Um, I definitely would recommend you get a desktop though just because with laptops you got to worry about it getting hot and stuff like that. So with a desktop they stay much cooler and it's easier to run or play for longer periods of, of time. But if you guys want to compare their specs so that way you can kind of find something with good specs and find it like in a desktop. And also check out my website too. I'm gonna make a section where I recommend like computers and stuff like that based off ones I tried and ones I, ones I know that plays the games that I play. And I get that X a lot. So make sure you guys check out my website, acepilot2k7.com. But yeah guys, that's gonna do it for this episode. I really do hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe. If you are new, hit the notification bell. Don't forget also we're on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, all at acepilot2k7, all down below in the comment section. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know also which fire truck should we use in our first official video of Montgomery County. And yeah. That's going to do it for this one, guys. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you. Oh, wait. One more thing. If you're still watching, um, Emerge NYC is also on sale starting today. So it's $20 instead of the normal price. So if you want to get it while it's on sale, might as well. And um, it was something else I was going to tell you guys, too. Um, it's on sale. I think that was it. I think that was the only thing. So, yeah, definitely check it out while it's on. So, but anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.